Hello, in this video, I am going to cover the fprintf function. So the fprintf function allows you to write some string, for example, some data to a file. Really simple. Again, I'm not going to go really hardcore into the nuances of opening and managing files. I'll have separate videos covering that. So just bear with me on that. So we'll need a couple of hash includes. We'll need hash include i think you guessed the first one std io dot h then we'll need another one hash include less than angle bracket std lib dot h close angle bracket and now in the main we're gonna say file asterisk file so this is gonna be a pointer to our file i've already got a file created here with a bunch of lorem ipsum text bear in mind this method will overwrite that content so that's the reason i've already got it here you could you know create a new file and that's fine okay so let me close this not close it down let me put it down a bit and we're gonna now open the file so file equals f open open quotation marks file.txt comma quotation marks w plus so this is just the right mode and semicolon now to use the fprintf you just put fprintf so it's like a regular printf but it prints to a file hence the extra effort to start and we specify the file pointer in the parentheses so file comma then the text so hello for example and now it's always good practice to close the file so f close file save that and if i run it we get nothing in the console that's expected in the file.txt we get hello and it's been overridden it's pretty much it one last thing i want to show you is this string could you know come from something like a array of characters so another string variable or you could format it in here so we could say something like my name is let's say percent f for example and my age is percent i and let's just create this up so char name equals frahan and int age equals i am 29 and we just put it here so comma name age need to put a parenthesis there so we know where it's going so that should be all right save that let's give that a run see what we get my name is Farhan and my age is 29. So that's it. That's really all fprint has to offer. Like I said, you can format the string using variables like you have in a normal printf. The only difference is it requires an extra parameter at the start, which is the file that you'll be writing to. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. There's almost 4,000 members now, so a bunch of programming channels, and people will help you out. That's it. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.